In this video, we will review the Combine, Separate, and Merge tools. While working in Maya, you may find it useful to combine objects together as one object. The Combine tool is what you will want to use. I'm going to create a sphere and a cylinder. And I will change the subdivisions on the objects. This will come into play later when we will be merging the objects together. But for right now, let's move the objects into position. I'm going to duplicate both these objects too, just so I can show the difference between merging and combining the objects. Now that we have our objects together, let's go about combining both of these objects together. First, you'll want to select both of the objects that you want to combine. Then go to Mesh, Combine. And now you can see that two objects have been combined into one. So anytime we select this object, it turns green. If you need to separate these objects again, we can do that by using the separate command. And that's located under Mesh and Separate. And now you can see we have separated our objects back to two objects again. Sometimes you may want to merge your objects together. Now merging is different than combining. When you combine, you're essentially taking two objects and having them behave as one. When you merge objects together, you will be deleting faces from both objects and merging the vertices together to make one seamless object. Let me demonstrate. First, let's recombine this object. Grab both the objects and hit Combine. When we go into wireframe mode, you can see the full sphere and the full cylinder. They're just acting as one object. Now let's go back to shaded mode and let's prepare these objects for merging. First, let's delete some faces off of this sphere. First, let's go to component mode, select the faces we'd like to delete and delete them. Now let's do the same for the cylinder. But what we want to do is just delete the faces on the top of the cylinder. If we look inside, you can see we only have the top faces selected and let's delete these. Now that we have these faces deleted, we'll be able to merge these vertices together after we combine the object. So let's go back to object mode, select both of our objects, and go up to Mesh, Combine. And now you can see we have the top of the sphere and the bottom of the cylinder combined as one object. Now there are a few different tools we can use to merge our vertices together. The first is the Merge Vertex tool, and I'll show you how that tool works. Let's go to Edit Mesh and down to the Merge Vertex tool. As soon as we do that, you can see we go right to Component Mode and we're looking at our vertices. And if I take my cursor and put it near a vertex, you can see it gets highlighted as red. This is going to be the vertex that we move. And if I click on it, you can see the, the vertex changes a little bit. And with the mouse button still selected, I can drag up to the vertex I would like to move this one to and merge them together. So when I let go of my mouse button, the vertex jumps to the same position and merges as one. Let me show you how this works again. Bring my mouse to the vertex I would like to move, click on it with the button still selected, drag up, and then let go, and these are merged together. I'll hit Q to get out of this tool. Let's move over to these vertexes. 
and I will show you the next tool. The next one is called Merge to Center Tool. This one works by selecting the vertices you would like to merge together first. So let's select the two vertices we'd like to merge and then go up to Edit Mesh and Merge to Center. And now you can see what this tool does is takes the two vertexes that you'd like to merge and kind of moves them both to meet in the middle. Let me show you again how this works. Select the two vertexes you would like to merge together and go up to Edit Mesh, Merge to Center, and they merge in the middle of where they were both positioned. Now we can use either one of these tools all the way around our object to merge these vertexes together, but depending on the complexity of your object, that could be very time consuming. There's another tool we could use to speed up the process, and that is the Merge tool. Let me undo these merges that I have done so we can get back to our full split object. Now the Merge tool will allow us to select a large number of vertexes and merge them together at one time. Let me show you how this works. Now that we're in component mode, we will go and select all the vertexes that we need to merge together. So I'll go to the front view and select all of those vertexes that we want to merge together. Once we have them selected, we can go up to Edit Mesh and Merge. Now it looks like it didn't do anything, but first let's take a look at our options. Under Poly Merge Vertex, we can see our first option is called Distance. A distance determines how far away your vertices can be before Maya will be able to merge them together. So let's try increasing this number a bit. Let's raise this to 0.1. And already by changing that number to 0.1, uh, Maya was able to find the vertexes that we wanted to merge, and it has merged them all together. We go to Object Mode. Select our object and smooth it. And you can see it's perfectly smooth. And all these vertexes and edges are all merged together. Now if we go to the front view and we look at both of these objects in wireframe mode, you can see the difference between combining, which we still have our sphere and our cylinder intact, and merging, where we took the top of the sphere and the bottom of the cylinder and merge them together as one seamless object. 